Every time we open a shop, every time we launch a new flavor, we're collaborating with new people every day, we're working with new farmers and artisans every day. There's no day of the week that's the same from week to week. I'm Chad Palmatier, I'm the co-founder of Lick on Us Ice Creams. I'm Anthony Sivodic, I'm the other co-founder of Lick on Us Ice Creams. Lick was really born out of this idea that we had to take the ice cream shops that Chad grew up with in rural Pennsylvania and marrying that with my experience in a small town in Texas. So celebrating those flavors and the culture with the farm freshness that Chad grew up with. One of my earliest memories with my family, with my grandparents specifically, is enjoying ice cream. It was like an, like an every night ritual. I don't remember eating ice cream with anybody else. <laughs> On our first date, he made it very clear, as most Texans do, that he's from Texas. <laughs> uh, yeah. As the relationship evolved, it just became very clear that we were going to be in Texas very soon. We decided we're going to be on a one-year plan, we're going to move back, we're going to open this ice cream shop. The first year is really hard. After the hottest summer on record, we opened, we opened back in October. Winter. Day one was literally him in the back making ice cream, me in the front scooping along with his sister. And we all lived together too. And we lived together. It's an amazing time. We currently have five shops open. We have 100 and 40, 50 wholesale accounts. All in Texas. All in Texas right now. We range anywhere from 50 to 75 employees. There's a lot of things that we don't put in the ice cream, but the stuff that we put into the ice cream is probably more important. We get to really work with farmers and food artisans so that what, what is in season and what they're producing can really dictate what our dip cabinet looks like. When we come up with a new flavor, typically we'll start with nailing down what we want the flavor profile to be. I yeah, come up with an idea. You say, uh, you say you come up with it like one time. It's like two. One. Everyone gets to be invested and buy in on what the flavors are and what they taste like. People lobby for, you know, more swirl, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> more cookie. It's so unique about being, I think, an entrepreneur, but also in food and beverage. To last 10 years, I think you have to have that incredible passion about what you're doing. The vision was for Lick to be as sustainable as possible. The dairy that we use is it's a single source dairy. It's only about 75 miles from our production kitchens. Every fruit, berry, nut, herb, all that's coming within that radius of our production kitchen. We were at the goat dairy back in, I think it was February. And just being able to talk with her and connect with her and she's so passionate about what she does and it's like, that inspires me. I mean, we've used their goat cheese in the goat cheese time and honey flavor since we opened. To me, it's like smiles are huge. And just seeing a customer smile or an employee smile or a vendor, or an artisan, a farmer smile, it's like we're providing something that's making somebody smile. That's that's a big success. It can actually be that simple. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, some days it has to be like, hey, they smiled. That's, we're, we're doing well today.